Hey guys, so um, I don't know why the last recording stopped, but this is part two and um, it's Monday and the theme is around doing what inspires you and following your heart. So I was always someone who would buy into the idea of work hard, uh, play later and I was someone who rarely rarely ever took vacation. I ever, rarely took time off um, I um, There were times where I really really enjoyed my work uh, and then there were other times where I felt um, like I was a Like I didn't have a choice and like I was trapped and like I didn't have a lot of choice or many options and uh, I either had to fit in or just uh, suffer. So as someone who's highly sensitive and an and empath and who's... My drive was always to be a healer. So I naturally fell into roles of coaching. I fell into the roles of also being the, the savior in a, work, in a workplace. And when you're not getting paid to coach and when it's not your official title, people on average don't welcome that kind of person who's coming in and trying to fix people or trying to fix the situation. So only in the last year, because of the pandemic, I saw how important it was to focus on myself and to focus on my well-being and my health uh, in order to be able to be healthy and happy for myself and for my, my four-year-old son, Liam. And I'm moving into that more and more every day into my um, my sacred vocation and my sacred calling. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting. And it's really fun. And um, this is one of my expressions making these videos. And I'm just so grateful that you guys are here and that I'm uh, that we're living in a in a time where we can do these things. We can step outside of the grid and we can. Um, speak our voice we can speak our truth and we can be heard and we can be seen and uh so that's what i want to bring today to the conversation is um what are you doing today to take action towards your uh your dreams and and what really gets your soul what what makes your soul sing what makes you feel alive what makes you feel Val valued and recognized and loved and appreciated we all have that that thing that's inside of us and we wouldn't have come here in the human experience on planet earth just to get by or just to fit in a box um it's such a miracle that we're actually here you know if you look at what it takes to create a a baby i mean it takes a, a synchronicity that's really outstanding and the fact that you're here means you're here for something really great and something special and something unique so with that I'm gonna put you down here and go into my meditation pose and again we're on a little hill today so we're right, right on the slant part on the slope I should say not slant slope Okay, so you're going to see a lot of blue sky because it's a beautiful day today. It's 3 o'clock and how can you ask for anything better? I mean, what else is possible, right? So sitting in a cross-legged pose or whatever pose makes you feel comfortable. Some people it's lying down. Some people it's in a child's pose, in a little ball, you know, with your head down and hugging your knees. That's how I feel sometimes, and that's what gives me a lot of peace, is child's pose. So sitting up straight and letting your head just float over your neck. And also letting your upper back just float over your, your bottom part, your sit bones. Requires no effort, it just requires letting yourself be. Take a few deep breaths, cleansing breaths. And start listening to the beautiful sounds that are around you. 
And if there's no sounds, listen to your breath. So imagine roots growing in the ground, coming from your, the bottom of your spine, going all the way down into the earth, deep, 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 all the way to the core of the planet. And from above, you're going to imagine a white light coming from the sky into the top of your head and down your spine all the way through your body all the way to the bottom going all the way down into the planet hmm. And what this creates is, is a balance of being grounded and also being connected to your spiritual self and to the collective consciousness. So messages could come in, your guides can speak to you, angels, God, intuition, your heart. Be open to receiving whatever message that is being called forth right now in this moment. And just declare, I am ready and open to listen and to allow spirit to work through me. Because we have free will, each and every one of us, our guides and angels, and they don't always interfere because uh, we don't necessarily allow them to, and we don't know that we need to allow them to. So that's why when we, when we actually give them a, a command, like I command you to serve through me and to be of service for my highest good, that is so powerful. I, I highly encourage you to do that as often as you can think of doing it. And you'll see miracles happen in your life.
a gift to be here with vitamin D, the beautiful sun shining down on us, with the wind blowing. <sighs> hmm. Have a great rest of your week. Namaste. <laughs>